Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I apologise straight off if you can hear the washing machine in the background because it's just started and I'm like super spin cycles and it's pretty noisy. So uh, if you can hear it, I am very very sorry. So I thought that I would do a bit of an update in terms of where I'm at with um, my diet, my nutrition. I know last video, if you've not seen it, go check it out. I did give you an update um, about my competition plans. They are a little more set in stone now, so I will be competing like May, June, July time. I've got a couple of competitions in mind. Um, I do go on holiday mid-June, so I would ideally like to compete before then. So then obviously I can enjoy my holiday. I've just shrunk down. Hang on. It's better. <laughs> um, and I want to give you an update on my supplements as well. What I'm taking. Um, what I find useful. And to be honest, I've been pretty crap and really inconsistent with taking supplements. So I want to get better with that. I want to increase my water intake to about three or four litres every day. Um, just to keep everything flushed and working as it should and obviously keeping on track with my meals. So, I've already had my first meal of the day. If you got me on Snapchat or Instagram stories, you will have seen that. If you haven't, go check it out. <laughs> um, it was a, an egg white omelette, so five egg whites, one egg. I got 25 grams of onion, 25 grams of mushrooms, and then a big handful of spinach. And then on top of that, I put a tablespoon or 15 grams of almond butter. So, practically no carbs. I think there's like six grams of carbs in that. And what I'm doing is having my carbs pre and post workout. I'm just finding at the moment that it's working a lot better for me. I'm waking up, I'm not super, super hungry and carbs actually make me hungrier. Protein is quite satiating. So I'm making sure that I'm eating my carbs pre and post workout to make sure that I've got the energy to actually train. And then I'm just having protein mainly and fats throughout the rest of the day. But everyone is different. So I've just got my first order for quite a while from bodybuilding.com so I wanted to show you what I've got in that and I will give you an update on what other supplements I am taking. Um, so I got some omega 3s. I do eat quite a lot of salmon and steak throughout the week but they just help to keep me on track. I also, oops, I also got some digestive enzymes as well. I've never actually taken these before but I have got a very very um, sensitive stomach and I've been suffering with bloating quite a lot as well so I wanted to give those a try I'll let you know how that happens how that happens how it goes and some more BCAs as well I love the optimum nutrition ones and this flavor strawberry kiwi is just amazing so that is what we've got I also use vitamin D which is just in the top of the a little stacker thing to help out so vitamin D um, pre-workout if I'm feeling a bit flat and this one is the uh, enter it with purpose it's one of the thin labs so it's Dana Lynn Bailey Rob Bailey it's their company and it is amazing as I said I get a sensitive stomach so the protein that I use and I have been using for quite a while is bulk powders and it's the pure whey isolate 90 I know you can get whey isolates from those different companies but the higher the percent of protein for me the better it is on my stomach so that's what I prefer also BCAs through the day because when I'm in prep or if I'm you know cutting down I've got a massive massive sweet tooth so I do find that having the knocker BCAAs because they've got no carbs in them it's no sugar either it's just sweeteners they are amazing and I don't like elderflower but citrus elderflower it's insane and I've got like a full crate down there and it's almost gone so I need to get some more just finished with clients it's dinner time dinner time but <laughs> um, my next meal I thought I would show you looks disgusting I'm not gonna lie <laughs> but that's just chicken mushrooms onions and green beans with some stock so it's super easy to make and I basically put it in a um, called slow cooker slow cooker and make like four meals at once washing it up and stick it in the fridge and it's super super easy and I've got one of these later on as well so a lot of you have been asking me about my glute workout now one thing that I am starting to incorporate every single day is just some activation work 
with my band. I'll pop a link in the description below for the, the, bands, blah, 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 the bands that I use. Now it's really important that you understand I still train legs and glutes. I am training them four times a week at the minute. Activation work is on top of this, so to grow your muscles you still need to lift heavy. Activation work is just going to help me get that mind to muscle connection and make sure that I'm working them as best as I can. So what I've been doing is donkey kicks and kickbacks and some uh, fire hydrants, I think they're called as well. So like I say, this is just activation work and this is on top of still training glutes and legs four times a week. So as vlogging is all about keeping it real and letting you guys in on what's happening, I'm actually taking an unplanned rest day today because I done something to my ankle um, and I don't want to make it any worse so meal wise I'm not actually going to change anything still going to have what I would have had pre-workout post-workout because it's the only carbs that I have today and I'm going to have them as soon as I get in that will still be oats protein oats, proats, whatever you want to call them and a bagel as well I'm just waiting for this cat to get out of the way so I don't get run over um, because they taste so good so I will show you those when I get home It looks like I forgot to sign out last night. Um, it's 10 to 8 and I've been up since 5am, hence why I you know, still look a little bit asleep. But I just wanted to quickly say, my last meal of the day yesterday was the same as what I had during the daytime. So the chicken with green beans and onions and mushrooms and a bit of stock. And like I said, I do make it all in bulk, so it's just dead easy to portion up. So, <laughs> don't know what that face was. <laughs> If you have any questions, you know, about nutrition or about making programs, competitions, that kind of thing, then just leave them in the comments below and I will definitely make sure that I get back to you. Almond milk in coffee is another good one as well. So just kind of cutting your calories down and it tastes really nice. Um, so thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video, this day in the life. Please make sure you subscribe because I'm trying to do at least two videos, sometimes three videos a week. Spoiling you. <laughs> and they will be a mixture of vlogs and training videos as well. So I will see you in the next one. Oh, and give it a thumbs up as well. <laughs> Bye.